Hi everyone. Today I am coming on to talk to you about what it's like to grow up with an alcoholic parent. First of all, I want to say I am not a doctor by no means. I just want to share with you my own personal journey. Um, um, my friends, the, the stories I've heard from friends and also share with you some of the research that I have um, looked into. So first of all, growing up with an alcoholic parent is very hard and especially if um, the severity of the alcoholism it depends how bad it is because alcohol can make you have like mood swings it can um, make you sad it can make you mad it can make you all kind of things or angry um, so it's very hard for a small person to understand the um, the addiction side of alcoholism and so it can be very hard emotionally um, psychologically social socially it can be very hard for a small person a child to comprehend and how to how to work through it right so um let's just say this it says also alcohol use disorder the presence of oh yes and the presence of other people that are involved um maybe some people don't have a mom that's um there maybe they're just with their dad or maybe the dad is their only support and the mom's an alcoholic and or maybe there's no kind maybe both parents are alcoholics and so it it also plays a role on if um the child has support within the household or in the family right the and um depends about the overall family dynamic as well so in my family um my dad was the alcoholic my mom was not the alcoholic um, so that's kind of the dy dynamic in our family. So first of all, alcoholism um, is an addiction and it can take over um, it can take over their thinking, their reasoning ability and whatnot, right? And so being a parent that when you're an alcoholic parent, um, there's times you choose your addiction as sad as it may be over your children, right? Maybe their safety, their proper nutrition, their education, their stability, their affection, uh, their health care. There's just a lot of inconsistencies there. And so that can create a negative environment for the child. And because of the uncertainty and because of the chaos, I, um, I remember like with my dad, well, I don't remember it, but I remember later on in life, my dad would tell me, he's like, yeah, I remember that um, I would take all the food out of the refrigerator and <laughs> so he could put his keg in the refrigerator and so he had cold beer. Uh, who cares about the milk? Who ca And he would laugh about it, right? And I was just like, um, yeah, for a while I was laughing about it too. Like, yeah, ha ha. But really, if you think about it, that that is not good right that's that is so dysfunctional and um so that was one of my stories but okay then we're going to go on to emotional effects it says um children of alcohol parents often experience a rage a range of negative emotions such as loneliness uh, depression anxiety and get this guilt yeah sometimes as children um of an alcoholic parents we feel maybe we're we are responsible for some of it right i know for me that um i was thinking maybe if i did better that my my dad would change right and so i would get like all a's in school i would do chores without being asked i would try i would try to be my best uh on my best behavior as much as i could right but i'm still a kid but um, so in hopes that it makes the household a little less, less, has less tension in it, less chaos. Um, but it didn't work that way because why? Because I wasn't the problem and I didn't, it wasn't me that created his addiction. Right. So, um, it, it just <laughs> changing myself, um, did not help his unpredictable behavior. And so yeah it caused depression in in us as children and also when you have a um have parents that drink usually the children 
that grew up grows as they grow up they become uh, addicts themselves or maybe they have a drug problem themselves or maybe they even suffer from PTSD because it is traumatizing to go through such um, diverse chaos right from an alcoholic so also with children um, because you have a parent that drinks, right? So they're neglecting their own adult responsibilities. So sometimes what the children do is step in and try to take the role of whatever parent, um, being a mother hen to, or trying to be the head of the house, or um, it, it definitely accelerates the maturity of a child or it has a possibility of doing so because the parent is lacking. So it says they might take on roles typically reserved for adults, such as caretaking responsibilities for younger siblings, even the parent that struggles with the alcoholism. They try to really take whatever roles they can to make the load lighter, probably for, for the rest of the household, right? While this premature responsibility can instill positive traits, which it can, such as resilience, empathy, responsibility, and determination in a child, so those are positive traits, but on the other hand, it's undue pressure for that child. Um, it has a negative, a negative impact on them because they don't have the opportunity to um, be a child, right? So, because we're only a child for a little bit of time, and and that gets taken from them due to the alcoholic parent. Um, I remember one time I um my dad lived down south, and I wanted to visit him for a month. Uh, for summertime and then he's like yeah I won't drink I won't drink and so I was so excited I hopped on a plane I think I was seventh grade um yes we could take a plane by ourselves in seventh grade um so my mom took me to the airport to put me on an airplane I went down there to down south and my dad did pick me up so that was good um but then I got to his place and then next thing you know we got a maybe a day or two stuck around it was okay but then it was a dry county that he lived in right and so we had to drive to the wet county or to the bootleg or whatever it was 30 cases of beer he bought and i nearly i i was just i was heartbroken i um i even called my mom i'm like dad's drinking he promised he promised right and that's what happens because addiction takes over maybe they really want to keep their promise to you but it it's their addiction that takes over right and so um so but fortunate for me i did have um a best friend there um a childhood best friend and the mom understood and so she let me stay with um at their home for uh, quite some time of the month that I was there so that what it turned out to be positive but I was just heartbroken for sure so it says um that childhood experiences with an alcoholic parent contributes to adverse childhood experiences um they can have long-term impli implications on mental health and well-being um also I think it can bestow upon somebody like the not feeling like you're good enough um because there is a lot of guilt for it and it's unplaced it's not placed right right we just take it on ourselves and so um see it says studies show that adult children of alcoholics are more likely to report um the increased risk of developing substance and use disorders depression obesity and other health issues i know for me that um yeah i had a real weight problem I'm um, growing up and then I'm sure it was de um, depressing I noticed that my brothers would go through that as well and um, I do I do have a brother that um, went toward follow my dad's footsteps if you will and so I know a lot of these studies are true because I've lived a lot of the scenarios so um, then going on to um, Okay, before I go on to post-traumatic stress, um, even my own, I'm sharing my own experience, but like I remember my dad had a kid brother and um, they were both alcoholics, like raging alcoholics. <laughs> and um, it's not a laughing matter, but looking back, okay, just 
however sometimes i think my uh humor is a little bit dark okay or maybe that's how i just cope through the stress i'm not sure which um but like um they went to go wanted us to have chinese food right so you go get it and then you take it home well then um my dad's kid brother took my my brother and me there at the chinese restaurant and then i think he forgot but he's drunk mind you okay <laughs> he's drunk and so he told the lady the cashier lady he's like oh sorry i forgot my wallet i'll be right back i'm leaving the kids here and then <laughs> so i can only imagine what the conversation was like like when he had to go back to our house and explain something whatever happened to my um explain to my mom what happened to us kids and yeah my mom my mom really worked a lot lot um because i know that addiction takes a lot out of a family financially and so i just always remember my mom working two or three jobs a full-time job always and then just like these side jobs on top of it and um so i know i'm not saying my mom uh my mom i don't know funded my dad's addiction because he had his own monies his own whatever right however i'm just saying i just remember my mom my mom always working so i can imagine when my dad's kid brother got over to home they're like uh where's the kids like ah we're just sitting there just waiting for somebody to come pick it <laughs> so and then okay there was just a side note just a side note a backdrop um so post-traumatic stress disorder um can be from that kind of trauma because um for my for my experience not only for like um my growing up but just even um through my own personal relationships i noticed that um alcoholism can make people very violent very quick uh their reasoning goes out the window um they just have a lot of whatever's going on in there and so um it can cause great trauma to somebody to see like especially a child because you imagine if you had um a drunk parent and they're they're abusing the other drunk parent um it becomes it's become scary it really becomes scary and then you don't know what's going to happen i remember one time when i think i was in sixth grade my um my mom she just like hurried up and put us kids my brother and me i don't know what was going on with my older brother he's five years older than me i don't think he was really around a lot but um my mom put us right in the car and then we went to a shelter and stayed in the shelter until my dad could figure out whatever he was going through right and so we stayed at a shelter so um yeah it can make a child be hyper vigilant um it just and also i like what this study said because i feel like um i'm a very bossy and controlling type person controlling type person and i wondered if some of that stemmed from my childhood right because this is um parents can lead um alcoholic parents can lead to symptoms in the children resembling post-traumatic stress resembling okay in so it becomes hyper village hyper village I can't even pronounce it today. Heightened awareness. How about that? Uh, due to the po the past trauma, a need for control stemming from feelings of helplessness during the childhood. And so I kind of wonder if that is doesn't contribute to me always like want control in some kind of fashion, right? So um, yeah, it's very, it's very traumatizing. Um, if if you are going through this or you have somebody going through this um i will also leave um a hotline number down below in the comments uh, i am not a doctor by no means i just did some research and i just wanted to share my own um, experiences with you i'll also post um where i got my uh, sources at as well and so everybody's journey is different we all um need to be I don't know self-care and we definitely need to have yeah just self-care mentally physically emotionally so i will leave some hotline numbers down in the comments so please take a look at them if you're going through this um just remember if um 
if you are the parent that is like this, um, just take time and work on yourself and get yourself better the best that you can. It's, it's going to be a journey. It takes time and it's definitely worth the change. And if you're um, a child or a teenager that is going through this, um, there just please call the hotline below and <laughs> i i am um, i don't know what else to say i almost want to be in tears um all right everyone this is life accounts and growing pains and i will see you on the next video